Hey guys, and uh, welcome to this review. Today I'm testing Spyware Terminator. So, I was downloading it just then, and it was taking forever. It's not even a big program, I think it's 25 meg at the max, and it was just taking forever. So, um, moving on. I was, um, I was really annoyed with this program because of that really slow download speed. But then when I was installing it, it came up with an option telling me how would I like to use this program. And I just thought, you know, that's pretty cool. It came up saying, would you like to just protect against spyware? Would you like spyware and viruses? Would you like just to scan for spyware? I was like, that's pretty interesting. So as you can see here, it's a pretty cool interface. I do like it. It's very easy to use. I'm just going to run a quick scan here in the background. Actually, it's not in the background. You see with other antiviruses, you can actually scan in the background. So I don't know about this one. There's no, you know, scan in background button, so unless I go like that. Oh, that's, that, that, that's a flaw in this antivirus software. That's definitely probably a problem for most people. And it didn't offer me to do a quick scan or a long scan or anything. It was just like scanning. So I presume this is a fast scan. And it's pretty quick, 86. There we go. So it's found a cookie, so... Oh, it's got a report false positive. That's pretty cool because I have Trend Micro and the amount of false positives you get is just amazing. There's so many of them. And you can probably see that in the antivirus review of Trend Micro, which is on our channel. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. So, removing that cookie comes up with a scan report. Pretty interesting. No critical. So that thingy turns blue and it's happy. Now hips. It's, it's a um, that's a pretty cool feature in antiviruses. So it gives you two options, provides a lower level or a higher level. Let's see how it goes on the lower level. I'm gonna exploit this antivirus. Cookie scan. That looks interesting. Malware news. Is it really that interesting? Oh, there was a virus today. Okay. Let's get straight into the demolition of the computer. We will sabotage you. Okay. Let's check out this one. So it's let us into the web page. Okay. I don't know if that worked or not. Some viruses do that. They say, we failed. You do not have the virus when you actually do. Let's have a look at this one. No idea how to open that file, but just open it in Notepad, and that's a bit random. Yeah, some of these links are really weird. I have no idea how the viruses. It's like you need stuff to run the viruses. get out my moha file. I know these ones worked. Here we go, let's run this. Oh this is interesting. All the anti I keep doing that.
It's a pretty fail. If that's the is that is that's a virus then? That's a really big fail. How do I open this up? Seriously. Like, shouldn't I go like there? No, why is this security center coming out? Mm. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? It's very interesting. I'm just wondering why this hasn't picked any of this up. And uh, if I'm quick enough, I'll do a scan before the end of this video. I don't want to go over 10 minutes or whatever the limit is. I think I'm on about 6 now. Come on. Let me get a few more of these things in here. See, I haven't got one pop-up or something to tell me that I have a virus. Or... Okay, so I, this is really bad. I'm, I'm really quite scared now. How can this program not detect any of this? Yeah, this is... I didn't want that to Google search. Thank you. Why is this doing it to me? Okay, let's try this one. Oh no, please come on. This is a really big fail. Okay, so now, now it comes up. Okay, so it's picked up my flash installation, which I'll just do because I want to try out this one here in a second. But, so, so that's a message from the web page. Okay, so this is. Being reported as unsafe. Continue. Okay, free scanning of my PC. Okay, this is pretty cool. I, if I have to, I'm going to cut out some of the previous parts of the video. This is really cool. I'm going to allow this because it really shouldn't let me do this. This is hectic. I, I might split this into two videos because this is funny. <laughs> okay, I'll remove all. Yep. I want this file. I I want everything. Give me it all. So this is recreating Windows XP here. Danger, yes, I want this. I want your viruses. Okay, well. I think, I think let's do this again, so. This is really pretty cool. I'll save this. Oh, no, I'm doing it here. I'm gonna try not to go over 10 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to split this into two videos. Run, I would like to run you. This is really not letting me close this at all. I'm going to... Uh, what am I going to do here? Okay, go away. You're annoying me now. It's a virus, what you expect. But, hmm, that was interesting. I don't know what that's done. I'm just going to check the... Okay, this is pretty cool. But I'm going to have to stop the video here, guys, and uh, I'll continue this adventure on the Spyware Terminator in the next video. Thanks a lot guys, see you then.